Welcome back uh, to Politics HQ right here on New Central TV. Well, we're asking tonight, did yesterday's local government election in Ikiti State reflect the will of the people or were they a sham uh, with a conveniently low voter turnout? Um, of course, we hear that the People's Democratic Party swept the entire uh, local government elections in that state. Of course, local government elections in Nigeria are the lower, uh, lowest rank of governance in the country, um, of course, yesterday's local government elections in the Kiti State were marred by abysmally low voter turnout, abysmally low voter turnout. A stark contrast to the enthusiasm seen during the recent presidential and state assembly elections. Now, despite the low participation, the ruling All Progressives Congress has swept all the chairmanship seats. It's raising eyebrows about the legitimacy of the polls. This incident adds fuel to the long-standing fire of a long-standing debate, are local government elections in Nigeria truly credible reflections of the people's will, or are they often manipulated exercises in rubber stamping determined outcomes? We have uh, our guest tonight on the program to do justice to this topic, and I'll start by asking him uh, those questions. I'd like to say reaching us uh, via video link is none other uh, than Dr. Ademola Bayonle, he is a political analyst. Thank you so much for your time, Ademola. Um, so I want to start by asking you uh, the question that we just used in our intro before we go to our main questions. Do you think elections at a local government level in Nigeria are truly credible reflections of the people's will? Or would you say that they are often manipulated uh, uh, exercises in rubber stamping pre determined outcomes. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's good to be on the show again. Uh, so straight to the question. Well, it's a reflection of, definitely a reflection of the people's will, but uh, I mean, who are the people? That's the, that's the big question. Uh, who are the, whose will are we talking about right now? Uh, we have to understand the political process. It's not just uh, a one-off or a one-shot kind of picture. Uh, the survival of uh, the, our governors depends on on uh, on this local government's election, especially financial survival. So it must, and it should, uh, don't let me say must, it's usually, it usually reflects the will of the incumbent governor. So that that's the way I would say, probably not the populace who, sh who, who, uh, who should actually determine the outcome of this election, but um, the result is what it is, and it's not local to Ikiti alone. Around the country, uh, who, who, who dictates the uh, who pays the piper dictates the tune. So that's what we've seen All right. throughout. All right. Uh, 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 you've talked about the fact that this is not uh, uh, just uh, you know about Ikiti State, but we see it around the country. I have monitored elections at local level in several states in Nigeria, and one consistent denominator is low voter turnout when compared to the number of voters on the register and those who even but still are low turnout turn up for the general elections presidential and state elections so why do we consider consistently see a low voter turnout at the local government level what factors do you think contribute to that because we've seen it in a kitty state the last uh, election we're talking about there are many there are many factors involved when it comes to local government and i tell people sometimes you see local government elections sometimes it's even harder than than uh other elections uh, because there's so much vested interest uh more importantly when you have states like uh ikita states with half cycle elections where the governor has been predetermined almost a year before then we now have local governments coming uh etsa you see, the local government election literally is when uh, look look at, let's look at the picture of the finance of the state. When uh, federal co government spent, sent the allocation, the facts to the state, the, the the state allocation and the local government allocation comes together. So the interest of the governor is to make sure that I can definitely put people who will not challenge these finances in place and make sure that I conveniently disenfranchise other people. And that is why you see this very narrow and slim line type of election. Now, how much are the forms for, uh, for, for local government elections? 
what is the pub publicity done? If you look at the OSEC, uh, the state election uh, body that is in charge of those elections, how much publicity, they have publicity department, how much publicity do they even do compared to the national election? Well, how much sensitization do they do in the grassroots? If you go to their web website today, you will find nothing there mm. because nobody, they, 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 they literally just, it's always like a covert operation. Uh, so the interest of people, people are not even sensitized enough because they actually don't want them to sen be sensitized enough. Okay. Number two, the activities of this local government chairman is really a rubber stamp type of activity. We have seen it. You cannot challenge the governor. Uh, you're just there to pay the salary. In fact, most of the time you are there, you will disgrace yourself because people will be looking at you to perform. But definitely you cannot do anything because you don't have enough fund funds to do anything. So why do I want to position myself to be disgraced? So those kind of things disenfranchise people from participating because they know that at the end of the day, you are at the will and uh, you are at the call of the governor. So so it's it's literally a little bit of people who are saying, okay, maybe I want to be interested or the people, the governor actually say, okay, uh, party members, go and vote. So it is not an attractive uh, election at all, which should not be. It should actually be one of the most attractive elections because that is the closest to the mm. grassroots. Mm. And Quite. also, let us think about uh, all the issues that come around election. Mm. Governorship elections, the TOGRI, the ETC, in the local government, it is even worse because they know you by your house number, the, the, the number of your house and how many family members you have. So a lot of people back off from those type of elections because they don't have to want problems. So uh, Adam, like, is, is there hope? Is there hope? Because, I mean, uh, it means it's, is it worse than the, the elections at the other levels which Nigerians are still having conversations as to how to reform and to get right? And we've not, we're not done with the presidential election. We're not done with the uh, state elections and how to get them right. Is there any hope to get elections at Nigeria's local government levels right? And how do we get there? Definitely, there is hope. You see, number one is that they always say follow the money. The money is the greatest incentive to our political interest. So what can we do? Let us let the federal government start separating the allocations to the state and local governments. This joint account is not working again because a lot of our local government chairmen are puppets of the governors. Look at what happened in Ogun State, for instance. One of the local government chairman that had the audacity to speak up, he ended up in jail. Who was there to ask what the finances of the local government looks like under a particular governor? So let us start with federal government taking initiative to separate these allocations that goes to our state. Then we will be able to say, okay, this allocation directly came to this local government. You are in charge of the funding of this local government. So let us see how you perform and we'll probably re-elect you based on your performance. So that's number one. Number two, you see, the, the State Electoral Commission works in a lot of secrecy that nobody really knows about. And of course, they are at the beck and call of the governor also and the State Assembly. So we have to understand, we have to putting transparency into the election of some of these of, of offices. We don't have things like beavers. We don't have things like uh, electronic voting. We don't have things like uh, IRF or something when it comes to the state elections which should not be. We have to duplicate some of the efforts that we are putting into the, the, the national Thank election. you very much, Ademola Bangale, political analyst. Uh, we appreciate your time. We have to go, but we certainly will continue to have this conversation. I hope to have you back.